Hi. Hi, my name is Monica. Hi. I'm a medical student and I'm, I will be performing the peripheral vascular exam on you today. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Excellent. Can I get the patient's vitals, please? Okay, great. The patient's vitals are stable. Uh, to start the exam, we'll start with inspection. So I'll get you to stand up for me, please. And for the beginning of the inspection, I'll be taking a look at the back of the patient's legs. Don't turn around. Just for the presence of any varicose veins, which are superficial dilated veins in the legs, which I don't note in this patient. You can have a seat again on the bed. And at this point, I can get you to lie down and just put your legs up over here. Perfect. So to continue the inspection part of the exam, first I would be inspecting for color. So with peripheral venous disease, I would expect to see rubor versus with peripheral arterial disease, I would expect to see pallor. Next, I would be inspecting for hair. So the presence of hair would be consistent with venous disease versus the absence of hair would be consistent with arterial disease. Next, I would be assessing for ulcerations. Uh, with peripheral venous disease, I would expect to see ulcerations in the anterior tibia as well as in the medial side of the malleolus uh, versus with arterial disease, I would expect to see ulcerations in the bottom of the foot. Next, for skin changes, I would expect to see shiny skin for arterial disease and flakes of skin for venous disease. And finally, I would assess for the presence of any edema, which would be consistent with venous disease. The next step of the exam is auscultation, and I will be using the belt of my stethoscope to listen for the presence of any bruise, which would represent turbulent blood flow. So we'll start by listening for her carotid arteries. So I'll get you to turn your head to the side. Perfect. And I don't appreciate any bruise here. Next, I would appropriately uh, drape the patient, and I could listen to the abdominal aorta, which would be just superior to the umbilicus. Next, I would listen for the renal artery, which is five centimeters superior and lateral to the umbilicus. Next, I will listen for the iliac artery, which is five centimeters inferior and lateral to the umbilicus. And finally, I could listen for the femoral artery, which is halfway between the asis and the symphysis pubis. And I would repeat that on the other side as well. The next part of the exam is palpation, and I will start with palpation of the legs. So first I'll assess the temperature of her legs using the back of my hands. And I'm assessing for any coldness, which would be consistent with arterial disease or warmth, which would be consistent with venous disease. Next, I will be assessing her pulses starting peripherally. I'll start with her dorsalis pedis pulse, which is just lateral to the extensor hallucis longus. So I'm palpating here and I'm trying to feel for five cycles. I'm feeling for rate and rhythm, and then I would also compare it to the other side as well. Pulses are graded on a scale of zero to four, with two being a normal pulse. Next, I will be assessing her posterior tibialis pulse, which is just posterior to the medial malleolus. Again, assessing for multiple cycles and noting the grade, rate, and rhythm. I'll then be moving more proximally to the popliteal pulse. So I'll just get you to relax your leg a little bit, perfect and I'll be feeling in the popliteal fossa for the pulse. Okay. Next, I will be assessing for edema. So if there were edema in this patient, I would be pressing down in the edema to know whether it is pitting edema, but I do not note that in this patient. And finally, I will be assessing calf circumference. To do this, I will be measuring 10 centimeters below the tibial tuberosity, and I will be comparing the two sides, noting for a difference of three centimeters. Next, we'll be doing palpation of the upper extremity, starting with pulses. Starting with the radial pulse, again, I'm feeling for rate, rhythm, and grade of the pulse. Again, this is a grade two, which is normal. I'll then move to the brachial pulse, which is felt just in the medial aspect. And I will then be doing the carotid pulse. I'll get you to turn your head to the side. Again, feeling for rate, rhythm, and grade. And I would be comparing the two sides. Now I'll be palpating for the abdominal aorta as well as the femoral pulse. For the femoral pulse, I'm feeling halfway between the asis and the pubic symphysis. And again, palpating for rate, rhythm, and grade, comparing to the other side. Next, I'll be palpating for capillary refill. So I'll raise her hand to the level above her heart. I press down on the nail bed and I assess for color return. In female adults, the color should return in less than three seconds, and in males, less than two seconds. Thank you, Janby, for your time. That concludes the peripheral vascular exam. For more exam videos, see the link below.